guys, welcome back to my channel. It's such a nice day to film today, and so I was so excited to talk about Super Goop SPF sunscreens. have been wanting to get this video out to you guys because you know it's summer it's all about sunscreen we're gonna be talking about the top three products that are in the super goop line when it comes to SPF before we get started um, in case you're wondering about my pimple no <laughs> wait a minute I think I need to do something with my lips hold on it was a little too dry and matte looking, so I wanted it to look more juicy, you know? I added the Fenty Beauty uh, lip gloss in the color Fenty Glow. It's kind of like a universal lip gloss that works with any type of lipstick color that you put on. In case you're wondering about the makeup that I'm wearing, I finally got to try this bronzer palette from Ace Butte or Ace Beauté, and I got this in my BoxyCharm box last month. This is what it looks looks like very pretty um, actually I use this on my face and as an eyeshadow I use this as my crease shade my outer crease color and then I use these two as kind of like my transition shade all along the crease and then this one was my bronzer so um, I was able to use all of them super creamy high quality and then for my lid I use the hourglass scattered light eyeshadow and I told you guys in the beginning that it was dry I don't know what it is after um, I used it again it felt super creamy and wet like how I would expect it so I don't know if it's just that top outer layer that was super super dry when I swatched it um, but yeah, I am starting to love this. Another product I want to highlight is my Tula um, Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. This one I like. It's definitely cooling. It kind of just removes all the darkness. It's a perfect base for your concealer. But um, it does give you kind of like that bluish tint. Have you guys seen these? MAC came out with like four or five different types of MAC Fix Plus, but this one is for vitality. If you feel like your skin needs like a little pick-me-up, I think this is what it's for. Okay, so I got this as a set, these three, and I love this kind of yellow packaging, plastic packaging, really thick. Um, that you could use to the beach maybe put your keys in here and your credit cards anything that you don't want to get wet you could put them in here and in here you get three items and I got these for around $28 but they are like a 40 something dollar value I'll put it up here because as of yesterday I still saw it at the Sephora website you get their super goop everyday lotion and then you also get the Defense Refresh Setting Mist. You also get their Unseen Sunscreen, which is very, very popular. Ooh, look at that. The writing changes into this colorful graphic, depending on how the light hits it. Super cute. Let's start with the Everyday Lotion. And we're going to review and talk about it and tell you guys what I think, which of these three you should go out and buy that's definitely worth your money. Super Goop as a brand is cruelty free, vegan, it's reef safe, and also gluten free. And it's considered clean at Sephora, which means they don't have any of those harsh chemicals that are normally present in these types of skincare. So what a plus. So let's start with their everyday lotion. Their everyday lotion has SPF 50. It costs $58 for their big 18 ounce bottle. And they also have like the five ounce bottle for $32. And it's supposed to be for face and body. It has a non-greasy formula. It's water resistant for up to 80 minutes and then you have to reapply. It looks like this. First off, the smell is amazing. I'm so bad at describing scents, but it smells so fresh and it smells like kind of minty, like almost lemony. Oh, that's the one. Like it has a citrus scent to it, but look how 
it just immediately absorbs into the skin. I'll let you know if this is a mineral or physical sunscreen down below because that does matter because chemical sunscreens can cause people to break out and I've actually done some research about sunscreens that are mineral sunscreens that are best for people with acne prone skin like my son who has acne on his back and he swims like he's in the swim team and so I am always constantly looking for like the perfect body sunscreen that won't aggravate the acne on his back and so um, if you want to watch that video right here I'll put it up in the cards or at the end of this video but I did best sunscreens for face and body it's one of my videos from last year and I think that's always gonna be something that you're gonna watch every summer because it has some great um, recommendations there so check that video out this one it has sunflower extract and rosemary oil so that means it's very hydrating rosemary oil is high in antioxidants and it has that calming and hydrating feel to it it's a little sticky right now but what i love about it is that it absorbs into the skin it doesn't give you kind of like that white cast this is perfect for like your whole entire body they also recommend using this for your face but if you have oily skin i found that the other one their unseen sunscreen is like a better alternative for the face but we'll get into that next so i highly highly recommend it you don't get any of that sunscreen scent or smell at all the only thing is you know we always like the convenience of sprays instead of like lathering it all over our body so that's the only downside of it i wish they would make it into a spray but you know we can't have everything right highly highly recommend this one okay next one i want to talk about is the super goop unseen sunscreen and it has spf 40 and it's 34 dollars guys for 1.7 ounce it is pricey but you're only gonna want to use this for your face you want to put the good stuff on your face it exactly does what the name says it's unseen not only is it unseen but it's also unscented so as you can see, it's kind of like just a clear gel and it goes on smoothly and just disappears. You can't see it. And what I love, guys, this one is a little bit shinier than this one. This one, see, this one's a little bit more mattifying. It has that velvety feel, kind of silicone-y feel that fills in your pores. It's something that you would put after your skincare, but before your makeup. So that's exactly what I did. I put on my serum, I put on my moisturizer, and then this was the last step. And then I applied my makeup. And I love how it makes my makeup look super poreless. It works perfectly well with a lot of different types of makeups. And I've used this several times already. It's great for all skin types. Although if you have super, super dry skin, you definitely need some moisturizer. It has some pore filling quality so it helps with fine lines wrinkles um, pores and dullness I don't know how well it does that but I definitely see some type of pore filling quality it just makes my makeup look very flawless so I love it oh and it also has a blue light protection quality to it you know blue light is that light that gets emitted out of your phones out of your computers so, and so if you're in front of a computer screen a lot this is a perfect SPF for you so think of this kind of like a primer to your makeup or it could be the last step of your no makeup makeup day right it's oil free so when I used it by itself it felt totally drying on my face this is great if you have oily skin but if I were to choose which one between the two to put on my face I would definitely go with the unseen sunscreen because you want sunscreen protection but you don't want to see that right it doesn't break me out ignore this one the super goop sunscreen is in no way responsible for the big giant zit on my face <laughs> anyways let's talk about the last and final one this is their defense it's refresh setting mist this has spf 40 it costs 14 dollars for one ounce or 30 dollars for 3.4 ounces um, so it, the spray looks like this. It looks super cute. 
packaging looks awesome. Um, and you can kind of hear that when you shake it, um, it has those little beads inside that helps shake the product really well. So if you don't want SPF underneath your makeup, then you could use this instead. The claim is that you can reapply sunscreen by spraying this all over your face. I think this is good if you don't have any makeup on. This product has peppermint oil, which is great for calming and soothing. And then it also has a rosemary oil, which helps balance um, the oils on your skin. It smells exactly like the everyday lotion. It doesn't smell like sunscreen. It doesn't smell like hairspray, you know, like most setting sprays might smell like. I wanted to love this. I mean, I love setting sprays in general and I used it three times, guys. I, I really wanted to give it the benefit of a doubt. The first time, it ruined my makeup. My face just started slipping and sliding. Like, if you can imagine, you know those wax museum? If you imagine like your face, like starting to melt like wax the makeup was just disappearing and it didn't look good maybe it's the products maybe it's a different combination i tried it again on a different day it made me basically an oily mess maybe it's my skin type it has like peppermint oil rosemary oil so it's not oil free also oil kind of degrades makeup right that's what essentially removes makeup not my favorite i mean don't get this the spray is amazing it's nice it's like a nice fine mist can you tell i don't want to try this on my face in front of you guys because i don't want my makeup to melt i've worked so hard on this face this morning i don't want to ruin it i want to keep it on for a little bit longer super goop sorry about that but i would definitely pass on this but hey i like two out of the three most popular sunscreens that super goop has so not bad right if you guys are curious about any of these products i would definitely try their travel size kit like this one it's still available at sephora if not i'll let you guys know in the description below i would definitely get myself the full size one but even then a small bottle is gonna last you a while especially for the unseen sunscreen i guess if you are going to want to use the body the everyday lotion sunscreen for your entire body you're gonna want the big jug but you won't regret it okay so that is it guys for my sunscreen screen review of super goop i hope you guys enjoyed this video oh i do have a running giveaway right now it's for my 400 subscriber giveaway check out this video right here comment enter me us residents only and you have to be subscribed to my channel so if you like this video give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews and some unboxings here and there so definitely stick around there's always something to learn here on my channel so with that said i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll definitely see you back in my corner soon bye